Hello friends and welcome to my channel talking and playing games. I am eating cookies and this is Crusader Kings 3 Peasant Dynasties with Countess Dorothy of Wertenberg. Um, as a reminder, I play with a lot of mods, so my game's probably going to look a little different from yours if you play just the base game. Um, I have a list of the mods down in the description. I also play with a few different game rules than our default. I play with the genders inverted and with everything just a little more gay. Um, also, I have a note to remind people to like and subscribe if they would like to follow along with this lengthy continuing playthrough. Uh, let's get back into it. If you recall, uh, we're in the middle of a war that we are sitting out on because once again, we are in debt um, and we are waiting um, to build up our military. We currently have a claim on the Duchy of Swabia, which is fantastic because I do want that duchy. Um, but for right now, we can't do much about it. Um, my liege, um, Duchess Adelaide, uh, she is snatching up counties, which is not great, actually. Um, and there is a larger war going on around us, um, an independence war against um, this four-year-old who has recently become the empress of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, she's not four, she's nine. I'm sorry, I thought she was much younger, but she's nine. She's basically an adult. Um, so I can see why she would be impress. Um, so that's, that's all going on right now. And Dorothy, um, like has been typical recently, um, is just kind of being very quiet and still so nobody notices her. Um, she continues to have poor marital relations. Her husband tried to make her get rid of her cat, Middens. Um, which was really uncalled for and honestly was kind of um, kind of a kind of a deal breaker in this whole trying to get along thing. So fortunately, we've gotten all the children we need. We have an heir, Walperga, she's beautiful. Um, she has a bun and Joan, who is very good, very good. I, that's her opinion of me, but she is very good. Um, so overall, we're in a good place. Um, I do have a, I have an empty council position. No, I don't. Do I? No, I don't. Why do I have this? Odd. None of y'all are dead. Suddenly, randomly dead. Nope. Everybody's alive. Cool. Good. I mean, I don't really care that much. I'm not really attached to any of these people, but... Um, especially because I don't really actually have that many good placements for them, and they're kind of the best of a bad lot. Um, needs must. Okay. So, yes, there's a bunch of armies going on around me. Um, I don't think any of them are going to come at me directly um, because my little realm is not at the center of any particular fight. Um, oh, I lost one of my knights and so now the successor is the claimed knight, which means that accolade needs a successor um so this accolade the first of the vanguard i mentioned i'm not a big fan of it um the accolades are kind of confusing honestly i'm not i haven't sat down and tried to figure out what their deal is um so the current glory is 70 which means it's a rank zero Glory is gained by winning battles, defeating warriors, competing in grand tournament contests, and attending activities. If the acclaimed light knight loses a battle, um, okay. So right now it's kind of uh, not great. Um, rank, it's rank zero, so who cares? Um, I think it's actual benefits if she goes up in glory is prestige per dread. I don't have a lot of dread. Um, 
I guess there's uncontrolled territory at attacker advantage, which is okay. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Um, but on the whole, it's not the greatest. This is also rank zero. Dread gain per tyranny. Um, and Dorothy doesn't play a tyranny based game. I might as well. How much does it cost to retire? 35 to retire. I believe it takes 100 to establish an accolade. Um, I would like to retire this because I would like a different accolade because I don't like this one. It's just not very useful. So we're going to get rid of it. Um, do I have... See, I like this one. Worthiest of the Knights. What does that do? Getting to these so um levy reinforcement rate. Eh, okay. Um idealist opinion increases. I don't care so much about that. I don't have anybody to appoint to this. Um I did like this one though. Monthly martial lifestyle experience is nice. Um, and then some vassal opinions. I guess that's not that big a deal either. Um, is there anything else? Uh, let's see. Hind of Stuttgart. She is stalwart, which is travel safety, plus five. Um, that's okay. I don't... Oh, also they can get some knight army modifiers, including army toughness. What does toughness do? How much damage they can take in battle before they become a casualty. Oh. Oh. So it boosts up my levies. That seems useful. Um... This max size of skirmisher regiments plus four. Movement speed in provinces affected by winter. Oh, this seems useful. Not retinue. Wait, so could I... Let's start between this primary accolade attribute and the secondary. Oh, okay. Noose must fulfill the primary attribute, but the secondary can be changed at the loss of glory. Oh, okay. But she can do, she can fulfill this. She could, she could do this. Um, she'd be the knight ever armored. And it would boost up my skirmishers. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. So that gets me... Okay. So that creates the accolade. Yep. Here you go. I need a successor. Can I get one? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, and actually, I can't seek one for two years, because I did not too long ago. Um, so, Edelheid's it right now. Do I actually... I don't have any skirmishers. I should probably get some. Um, right now, I'm in debt, so I cannot. Um, if I'm getting skirmishers... If I'm getting skirmishers, which are these guys. Um, they're countered by heavy, or they're, they counter heavy, heavy infantry. They're countered by bowmen. Who counters bowmen? Ah, light cavalry. So I kind of want to keep my light horsemen just in case whoever I'm going up against has bowmen. I want to take them out 
So this is fine. I might just get rid of these guys. Um, they'll boost up my monthly income, make me get out of debt faster, and then I can create a regiment of um, skirmishers. Um, Adel Adelheid does need to have some accomplishments because right now she is rank one. Um, so, you know, um, not actually getting that much in the way of benefits, but how does she get, yeah. um, winning battles, defeating warriors, attending activities. Okay. So there's been no grand tournaments because nobody has money for that. Um, activities have been few and far between. Um, I guess there was a hunt that was called off recently. But we need to get her. Um, we need to get her glory up. She needs more glory. I wish people were throwing more feast or whatever. Um, Mayor Adelheid. So many Adelheids. Uh, this is the heartless one. Um, she's been hosting my Chancellor, Mayor Thomas, for several weeks, and he has helped her truly see the splendor of the realm under my rule. She has nothing less than honor to serve as my vassal. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. Good job. I am glad that sadistic woman likes me. Oh, did you finish? Did you finish control? Okay, so then we just have this. Um, and it's useful to get all the way up to hunter control just because any, like, whenever you have a hit to control, your the amount of taxes you get and everything uh, decreases proportionately. So get it up to 100 so you can get all your, your taxes. Um, and then once that's up, I will set her to train commanders because that is more useful than boosting the levies. Um, Yeah, that increases knight effectiveness, met at arms damage, and toughness. So, and also she can bring in commanders, um, which is a useful way to get some. Um, oh, we lost this. Okay, good. Um, a way to get some extra knights. Zeller, or Hohenberg's under siege. Ulm is under siege. Just by the hostiles. Um, the graveyard. While traveling, I come across a modestly sized graveyard serving a small town in my realm. Out of respect for the dead, or at least some sense of obligation, I pay my respects to the dead. Do you think that even in a humble settlement like this, that so many generations of people could have passed and gone by. Truly, it is a profound thing to reflect upon those who come before us. It's a deep moment for Dorothy. She realizes she is part of a long, long history of people. Specifically peasants, but she doesn't like to acknowledge that. Because she is Von Bauer. Um, let's see. Count Friedrich's bishop is a deviant. Lovely. Um, I realized, okay, so I did realize something. Um, you cannot go to war against somebody who has a strong hook on you. My liege, um, who has a strong hook on me, um, is the person I want to go to war with. So I actually need to do something about that. I've forgotten about that. Wow. Um... Can I just tell everybody that I'm a deviant and just get it out there and then and like no, that's not that's not an option. Just confess. Can I murder her? 
I don't think I even can. I think, yeah. I can't do a murder scheme on her because she has a strong hook. Oh, this is not good. Because mm. I want her, I want her duchy, but I can't declare war. Crap. I wish I'd known that when I accepted the blackmail. If I had, I would not have. Oot. Huh. I know. Um. She's at war and she's leading armies. I guess that could resolve itself. I wonder if I... Can I blackmail her? Can I find something on her and then use that to blackmail her? Like, is that even, is that even possible? Can I spy on her? I can't even spy on her. Because she has a strong hook. Really, I can't even, really? I, come on, I gotta be able to spy on her. Um, okay, I can spy on her the traditional way. Um, it's gonna be on her court, and there's no guarantee that I will actually get any information about her. What happened to my chancellor? My chancellor is gone. I wasn't, I, I'm still paused. Why did my chancellor just leave? Did he leave? Is he dead? What happened here? Please explain. Um, yes, he's dead. That's very sad. Okay, so I need a new, um need a new chancellor. Oh, and this is diplomacy, which is, I don't have that many good diplomats, actually. Yeah. Um, like, I have Melisande, who's mediocre. I have her, who's mediocre, also not a diplomat, technically. <sighs> We'll go with you for now, but you're not great. Um, and actually, I'm going to set you to foreign affairs. Should I try to get my courtiers married to bring some better people in? Because right now, I'm... Oh, she's still hanging around. I still don't have money to entice her as a guest. Sad. Can I bring in, not matrilineal, I need women, and I need them to come here, and I need them to be good at diplomacy, and I can't actually see the details, but I'm going to assume the top woman is um, the best. We don't know anything about her, but she will accept. Um, so there's there. Flavio, you get a wife. Um, you already have a spouse. In fact, let me just sort this by. Yep, cool. I'm married. That way I'm not. Um, there's Millicent. She had a spouse who is dead. Um, she could have another spouse. Nothing to stop her from having another spouse. Um, it can be a man, it can be a woman, I don't really care. Let's get somebody with a high stewardship. Yeah, that's fine. That person. No, nothing about him. But I'm sure he's fine. Good old Frida. Very reliable. Um, actually, you know what, I wonder if we can... Can we avoid lowborns? Not lowborn. Oh, well, that really narrows it down, don't it? <laughs> that just, uh, yeah, that just may not be an option. Okay, fine. Um, I guess because she's lowborn, so. Um, let's get another person good at diplomacy. 
Yep, that's fine. Maria. You know what? Let's open this up. So it's so fiddly when you're doing like a, a same-sex marriage. So like two ladies figuring out what would happen if you do a matrilineal marriage. Um, I haven't quite figured figured that out. I think if I do this, um, she'll stay, um, which is ultimately what I would like. I don't I don't want her wandering off. Um, this is fine. I'm sure this is this is fine. I'm not gonna marry my kids right now. Uh, my claimed knight. Can have a spouse as a treat. Okay, lovely. Um, why not learning? We could use some more learning. Yes, this person is fine. And whoever they are will come here, I assume, I hope. Yep, cool. Um... Another stewardship. There we go. That seems nice. Don't know anything about that person. Um, let's marry somebody to my spy master. Always useful to have somebody high in prowess. If I'm going to do that, it should be female. Um, there's a 17 year old that apparently is pretty buff. Okay. Also, I didn't realize I had that restricted to women. Um, that's fine. Oh, my neighbor, Cotilda, has lost against my liege in the Swabian de Jure War. Um, so that means that I believe Hohenberg, yeah. Oh, crap. My, um, that made my spy master leave and my court physician. Okay, oops. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, matrilineal marriage, always a bit of a crapshoot when you're marrying two ladies. Haven't figured that out yet. Um, so my liege has Hohenberg. I need a new spy master, and I need a new physician. Do I have anybody at hand who is at all inclined? I wouldn't trust Lifris with my life. We're going to search for a physician. It's going to put me in debt. I don't care. That's fine. Um, somebody who's good at intrigue. I guess it'd be to left. Nobody's really great at intrigue. I have a lot of C's. A lot of, a lot of comp competent. So he's got four stars. And that's pretty good. Let's go with this guy. He's competent. Um, and listen, thanks for filling in. I think I have somebody stronger than you on this. Yes, I have um, Irene, who is recently married to Flavio here. Um, and she is pretty good at diplomacy. So we're going to we're going to have her as my chancellor gonna be great um and I should have somebody who's better at stewarding yes look at that look at that look that's impressive isn't it um and she's a mayor too so uh mayor Erm Ermel Ermel I don't know but she's not my chancellor what do I want her focusing on it's fine um, I didn't, I didn't think to bring in anybody with a higher marshal, because that's not the one where I'm especially hurting. Um, I can't do any better than Mayor Ingeltrod, who I currently have there. Um, she's doing an okay job. Yeah. So, I don't really have any complaints. That's fine. Um, I mean, I do have a complaint in that my liege currently does have more counties. Oh, she's pregnant again. Um, so she has three counties. Maiden's Charmed Vassal. As I walk outside, I am greeted by the side of my vassal, Mayor Lutberk, 
crouching beside my cat, Middens, tenderly patting her head. This is quite the lovely cat you have, my lady. He is very perceptive, yes. Middens is fantastic. Middens is basically the best. Nothing, nothing better than Middens. We all love Middens. Wait, who is this? Okay, hold on. I wish I got a proper explanatory pop-up on this. Oh, crap. Because of his strong hook on me, he forced me into an alliance by marrying this 58-year-old steward to my second son. I think that's the second son. Yeah, one of them. Oh yeah, they're twins. Okay. So my 12 year old son, who is an honorable empath, who is bossy, compassionate, and lazy, um, is due to be married to this 58 year old woman. And now I'm allied with Count Friedrich. That's his mother. He married his mother to my son. What? Why would you do that? That's just weird. That's just a weird thing to do. He's a child. She's a grand, grown woman. And I'm the deviant? Wow. 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 Uh, fine. Um, so I do have I do have some people who are better at education now, so I might actually might just um, remove her as guardian. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and change this to whoever's on top. Yep. That is fine. Um, who else do I have? Job. Job, who's still a child for just a little bit. When's his birthday? January. Okay, so I've got about a year. Um, I do have somebody who's better at diplomacy now, so let's remove his guardian. No offense. Um... And then this is going to be switched to Diplomacy. Hold on. Did I get this wrong? Oh. Yes, I did. Because um, I put her also for st the stewardship focused kid. But... Uh, oh, I did this all wrong. Okay, so stewardship. Stewardship. Where's, didn't I have somebody high in stewardship? Do they just, they don't, they don't do anything with kids? They don't. Who did, who did I set as? Oh, it's a mayor. Here, you can have, you can have this kid. as your ward. Teach him everything you know about stewardship. I believe his brother is also, yeah, his other, his brother is also, um, going the stewardship route. So also, oh, she's already considering an option, an offer. Okay, I get enough, uh, choice of physicians. Um, there's Hildegard, who's been wandering. She comes from a house. And then there's Bithild, who is also wandering. Um, Catholic Bavarian, Catholic Saxon. I don't know anything else about them. Um, 
I know that Hildegard's better. It would put me further in debt. Yeah, let's go with Bit Hill just to save money. Go cheap. Um, oh, and then she is considering my offer of Okay, so she has one um one of my twins. You also get the other one. It's just it's just the rule. Um I don't make the rules. I actually I do. I'm I'm the countess. So um and then he's going diplomacy, so he could use that. What else do I have? I have Popo, who's doing fine. He's stewardship, but I can't give her more than two stewards. Oh, he's got him. That's probably a bad idea. I don't know why I did that. I'm sure it seemed like a good idea at the time. Popo, let's get you away from the scary man. I'm glad to know that he has not rubbed off on you too much. We're going to switch you to Bithild. Bithild here. Mediocre. She's fine. She's flagellant. Don't worry about that. There you go. You diplo diplomat. Um, let's set you with Irene here. Um, oh yeah, you're the one I gave to Lifris. He's raising you um, in his in his image. So whatever, do do whatever you want. Marshall, and I have her with Seaguard. And that's that's a decent that's a decent way of going about things. Um, yeah, I think that I think that covers us for educating kids. I forgot why I got sidetracked on that. Oh, because I brought some more people in. Right. Okay, so this war's over. Um, essentially. I'm still undead. I can desi designate a guardian for Wilhelm? I thought I did. Oh, there we go. Just got it. I forget she has to think about it. Um, and in any case, back in debt. It's a familiar place for us. So my spy master has not found anything in Duchess Adelaide's court, and he doesn't think we're going to find anything. There has to be something. I could. So I have this county in East Franconia. Have oh. Who's the current holder? The Empress is the holder of East Franconia. Oh, that's lousy. That's lousy. <sighs> I can't war with my liege. I wonder, can I entice her to attack me? I have to find something on her. There has to be something.
because she's younger than me, so it's not like she's going to die soon. Unless something unfortunate were to happen. I can't do anything about that, though, because she has a strong hook on me. Sweet Jesus. Should not have taken that option. Should have just taken my chances with the Pope. War has been declared on my Uber liege. Um, uh, there's this guy, this duke from the Duchy of Gilru, which I guess is up here. And he says that he should be the emperor. Our liege has called her banners, and we must now decide how to answer the summons. Um, again, we're in debt. We are laying low. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the warring I did in earlier videos, because there's a lot of not warring right now, so, um, you know, a lot of waiting around while in debt and trying desperately to think about how to overthrow my liege. <sighs> kind word. My paths happen to have crossed with Mayor Deuce. Deuce. And to my surprise, it seems as though she does not have a great impression of my friend, D Countess Sophie, who's now an adult. Look at her. Look at her. She's my friend. Um, perhaps I should take this opportunity to change her mind. This is Sophie Stewart. Um, so I could tell a nice story about Sophie, but I'm arrogant, so that would stress me out. Um, so instead, I'm just going to say people should talk about me instead, because that is actually correct. They should talk about me. Um... So, so obnoxious. What other claimants are there? So, I have an idea. If I form an alliance with somebody else who has a claim on the Duchy of Swabia, in fact, if I marry one of my kids to one of their kids, who do you have? You have a daughter and you have a son. Okay, um, your daughter's going to be the one inheriting. Hmm. Um... really ignored because I have too many existing alliances okay what about you okay what about you? Are you, you're not betrothed? What if I say, mm? Mm? does not want a patrilineal marriage? I mean, clearly. Um, thing is, I would want 
any kid to be part of the Von Bauer household because that kid would then get a claim that I can take up. I think. No, they wouldn't get a claim to the Swabia. That would pass on to... Oh, it's an unpressed claim, so it wouldn't even go down to the kids. Shoot. 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 Nobody has a pressed claim. Or at least, oh, they do, but they're small. There's... Oh. Oh, but this is set as a matrilineal. Okay. Hmm. That person's already married. That person's already married. Um. Okay, so this is promising. This person who's wandering around has a press claim to both the Duchy of Swabia and the Duchy of Ulm. Oh no, they have a spouse. I didn't even realize that. Crap. Nobody else has a press claim. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. This is really obnoxious. None of the people that have unpressed claims are single. Well, you are. But you're landed, so you're not going to come move to my court. Just wouldn't happen. How about you? You're married. No, you're died. Also dead. So I could get you to come to court. You have an unpressed claim. So you're an option. Okay, um, that awkward moment where you're not sure if it's a man or a woman. think it's a man. Think. Okay. So here's my daughter. Would you like to come here? So this would get me a claim, but then could I do anything with it? Because I still can't declare war. Yeah, this is so annoying. This is so annoying.
because I got carried away thinking that if I could engineer things so one of my kids is um, set up to get a claim, um, I could declare war in their name, but then I forgot that I actually can't declare war at all, so maybe that doesn't even matter and I don't need to marry off my five-year-old daughter to this adult. Um, because at the end of the day, I can't do anything with against my liege. Can I confess? Can I just tell tell everybody about my sordid, you know, deviance? Where's the Pope? Can I talk to my Pope? Pope, Pope, come here. Okay, so just pointing out the Pope as an STD. Just saying. Just saying. Um, hello, Pope Caracosa. Um, I would like to let you know I'm a deviant. Um, please tell everybody as soon as possible, so that way my liege cannot use it against me. I don't have that option. Darn. I don't think that'll work. Um, I still haven't figured out the best way to handle this. Just give up on the Duchy of Swabia. Try another Duchy. So that's owned by the Empress. I don't want to don't want to go there. That's owned by the Empress. That's owned by... Okay, so that's possible. That's also possible. So what about... Oh, that'd be my friend, though. It's awkward. It's a bit awkward. Um, but this is only three... So this would only require three counties. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is the only thing I can do, is switch gear, start working on another duchy. I don't think I have an option. So let's, so let's start looking at, um, no, this is the duchess herself, isn't she? Okay. Um, well, let's start here then. Um. Let's see about getting a claim here. Actually, can I just request a claim? No. Nope. Fine. Let us send an emissary. And also, I'm sorry, I keep asking you to come up with claims and then, you know, not being able to do anything with them. I will not let him blackmail me, I promise. Jesus. I know, I'm still in debt. I'm going to go more in debt once I get the claim to that, but no help for it. I need a claim so that way I can declare war because that's what we have to do now because I can't do anything against my liege. Um, I do have an alliance with... Count Friedrich now because I was forced into it because he decided his mother should marry my young son. Oh, I get an unpressed claim on the country county of Burgau, which is in Augsburg, um, which is in the okay, which is actually in a different kingdom is that an option who's the holder 
Patrick Mac. You know what? Yeah, that's my target now. <laughs> Fine. Um, I did notice that my request to send an emissary was rejected from over here. That's fine. Not like I care anyway. Um, don't worry about that because I've decided instead we're going to swing for this uh, Bavarian county because we have to roll with the punches. Um, Dorothy will be a duchess, just maybe not the Duchess of Swabia at this moment. Um, this will require three counties as opposed to um, however many would be required here. I forget how many. Oh, that would also be three counties. So, um, yeah, I think this is uh, pretty similar. We can get, so we already have a claim on Burgau. Um, this is owned by my ally, Count Friedrich. Okay. Might as well take the two counties here from the current duchess. So we have, an, we have a direction once we're out of debt, we build up our military. We need to get some skirmishers because I get some bonuses from that. Um, and then we will be looking at Burgau. I did gain some stress because my attempt to send an emissary was rejected, which makes me very stressed out, but it's okay. I can deal with that. My emissary has been received by Countess Willa. Oh, look at her. She seems like a nice lady. Um, she is a charismatic negotiator. She is August. Um, she is a holy warrior. Also a murderer. She murdered a mayor. Cool. She's reclusive and she is one-eyed. <sighs> Okay. In that case, we're going to be going in this direction anyway. Um, I, was, I was looking at my future enemy. She has a lot of prestige. Her spouse is... Um, I'll get to you. Um, a covetous villain, which is nice. She is linguistically challenged. She pronounces certain words differently from the established norms and is derided as a result. Sympathies. Um, and she is superstitious. Okay. That's nice. She has a son. She has a daughter. Um, okay. And then that's not gonna that's not gonna work out. But I could spy on her, which I will do. Um, so Job has come of age. This is my oldest child. Um, I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. Despite being a chatty child, Job at times finds it difficult to get along with people. The practice of politeness and honor are quite the challenge for him, but at least he knows his way around basic etiquette. Um, Job is one star in diplomacy, which is a naive appeaser, which is not great. He is ambitious, he is lazy, and he is trusting, which is not great. Um, he is 
pretty much incompetent in everything and also very weak. Um, he is betrothed to this 13 year old who is still wandering around. Um, well, Job, I'm glad you're not actually my heir. Um, so this is going to be our target, Burgal. She's relatively old. Her daughter is barren. Um, is the heir. She's Okay, so that's, that's set up. Also, I wonder if, um, this is the mother, the Count Friedrich's mother. I wonder if she's gonna, like, die. Oh, I spent 50 piety because my bishop was preaching an orthodox doctrine. Okay, Louisia, you've been around for a while. Maybe you should retire because you're not good at your job and you never have been. Why didn't I have this county in hand? What happened? Why did that happen? Why did... Rude. I don't like that. It's very rude. Uncalled for. God. Um, I might leave, leave that as is because my income's fine. Um, yeah, I want I want her to work on my commanders. So even though there's still control issues um, in Zolern, I'm gonna set her to train commanders. Um, and I also just want, I have hopes and dreams of somebody better than her coming along. Um, yeah, she's still fine. Okay. This big war is still going on around us. Um, I can still declare war on the Serene Doge here. Um, I don't know what he looks like. He is the dunged. Um... I'm sure there's a story behind that. Um, he's not s uncovered anything in the Duchess Mechtild, Mech Mech um, but he still believes there's something going on, so keep at it, Johan. I can ask my head of faith for claims, anything that I actually want. No. No. Duchy of Bavaria. Interesting. Where's the Duchy of Bavaria? What's that? Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. This would be an unpressed claim, though. And this would be like a long term goal. Um, and the disadvantage of an unpressed. Oh, it would be an, it would be a press claim. Oh, he grew a mustache. Wow. Um. Yeah, because a press claim would get passed down to my my kid. So that's actually worthwhile in the long term. Just having a claim to Bavaria, because that's close by where I am, and it's not going to be going up against um, my uber liege. Um, he has a mustache. It's really cute. It tries to make him look like an adult. It does not work, but... Okay, so the Pope has decided to recognize my claim on the Duchy of Bavaria as Duke Garibald is a man, so I'm within my right to step in. So that is true. I'm known for my dedication to my faith. 
Um, yes, everybody knows I am very faithful and devoted servant. Middens, the troublemaker. My vassal, Mayor Adelheid, approaches me, rage in her eyes, and cat in her hand, held by the scruff of its neck. Again, why the scruff? Why all the scruff? Um, as she thrusts the cat in my face, I see that it's my dear Middens. I found this limb monster among my things. What wasn't scratched a bit was covered in piss. I could either pay her off or I could say she's just a cat. You got to deal with it. And you know what? She is just a cat. You can't take it personally. It's just what she does. She's better than you anyway. I like her more. Also, I don't have money to compensate anybody. And I'm saving that money for skirmishers. Can I get that knight su successor yet? Yes, I can. Look at that. Okay. Boom, boom. My levies are so low. How much does it cost to get skirmishers? Oh, it's only 44. I can do that. Not stationed. Let's station them somewhere. Um, this is objectively the best place for them. Okay, this is a lot popping up all at the same time. First, let me get my martial perk. I, I can't. I can't. This is in the way. Fine. Um, while performing his duties as my spymaster, Johan has uncovered a secret held by Princess Bishop Swanhildis of Brixen, that's Duchess Mechthild's Princess Bishop. Um, oh, she's embezzling. Mm. Interesting. Good to know. Um, okay, so I can get a uh, Marshall Perk. Yeah, let's take, this decreases retreat losses, um, gives some boost to these various things, but also increases some skirmisher damage and toughness. Um, so that seems like a good, good deal. Here we go. Um, so I do have a successor now, um, Heike von Wolfach. It's been a while since I've done my German lessons. Um, we're gonna slot her in, look at her. She is brave and everything a uh, acclaimed knight should be. Well, Perga, oh, she's impatient now. Um, that's fine. George. Um, my six-year-old has very long hair, which is interesting. Um, to the heroic Countess Dorothy. Your unusual mole is like a burning stick. I would be blessed if I could have you close, that I may know the depths of your love. You put Aphrodite to shame. These lines are but a bleak reflection of my feelings for you. I will do anything to prove my loyal affections. Lifris, what are you doing? What is this? Are you trying? Oh, God, you became a poet. No, you're still a scholar. Okay, good. You're right. 
are you trying to romance me? Lifris, no. No, that, that's not what we do. That's not what we do. We are 22 years into this marriage. We do not romance each other. Also, I see your brother died. Um, that's really unfortunate for him. Oh, it was, a. Uh, it was about three years ago. Well, you should have told me then. Um, Lifris, sweetie. You can't, you can't. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Um, so, my immediate thought is abandon this foolish endeavor immediately, mainly for the lols. Um, on the other hand, again, thinking about Dorothy, um, she's never got along with her husband. Um, he's always thought very poorly of her. But she is susceptible to flattery because she's arrogant. So even though this is bad, she's also not incredibly liter literate and so would not realize how bad it is. So she might just be like taking the praise and being like, oh, that's nice. My husband's actually saying nice things about me for once. So I think she might actually be flattered. Um, despite the fact that it's ridiculous and live for a sweetie pie. Really? Um, okay. Jesus Christ. Lifris, I'll never understand you. Is it because I gave you a son? Like, gave you your own personal son that you can raise and do whatever you want with? Okay. Um, I think this is actually a good place to leave off because I'm not in debt this time. Um, I'm kind of building back up my military. I'm on the cusp of something weird and strange with my husband, like potentially actually a romance. Um, my heir and spare are doing well. I have had to switch tracks and target another duchy entirely um, because I am being blackmailed by my liege and therefore cannot declare war on her. Um, but, you know, um, so we can have a game plan and we have a, we have room to move forward. So we'll leave off here. If you are enjoying, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.